Hello my friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on today and just do a single reading for you guys. I was feeling, for some reason when I woke up this morning, I was all excited to do a reading for you and I'm not sure why, so I thought we'd let the cards tell us. Um, I did just want to say a special thank you. Someone else sent me a deck. You guys, you spoil me. I am not worthy. <laughs> Anyway, I just want to say thank you. You guys are so amazing. Um, we have the Shaman's Dream Oracle. And it's from Xander. Um, very interesting. Xander was actually a name that I wanted to name my son. And for the longest time while I was pregnant with my son, his name in my mind was Xander. And I would call him Xander. <laughs> Uh, I had twins, um, anyway, and I think it was like a month before I had the babies, I was in the doctor's office and my partner said, <laughs> he said the name out loud with our last name, he said, Xander Anderson, and I said, what? And he said, Xander Anderson, I was like, oh, we can't name our child that. <laughs> Because it's just so like Xander Anderson. <laughs> so we ended up changing. Uh, we ended up changing our son's name um, before he was born. But anyway, I love the name Xander. I've always loved the name Xander. So thank you, Xander, for these cards. You're amazing. Um, I just really love you guys. I just can't tell you enough. It's... You know, this is what I wanted to do today. This is my idea of a good time. <laughs> so we have Perfect Storm, the courage to step into life. Very interesting. We do have a crow here. You guys know I've been dealing with this crow. This crow in this deck, other deck, has been haunting me. The creator <laughs> waiting to make a move. Um, and here we have this crow, the courage to step into life. And we see some kind of opening here, perhaps some kind of cycle that's been shifted. Um, anyway, interesting. Oh my goodness gracious, isn't that interesting? So we have the perfect storm, the courage to step into life. And we see this crow looking like it's ready to make its move. And underneath we have repairing the veil and we have forgiveness. And I'm seeing lots of things on, I'm seeing lots of things on this card. I'm seeing transformation with the butterfly. I'm seeing that red string of fate. Um, very interesting. I don't know why, but I'm getting DNA vibes. So perhaps healing childhood wounds. Hmm. So let's see what comes out today. We have Beloved. Radical acceptance. Interesting. I think about numbers all the time. <laughs> like, I have a bit of a problem. <laughs> and I was looking at the calendar today, and it's February 18th, and I was thinking 218. 218. High Priestess, Divine Feminine, High Priestess, listening to your intuition, the moon, following your intuition. So I don't know if today is the veil is thin or what but I'm just feeling the energy today. And now we have this beloved radical acceptance. So high priestess energy, you could be accepting what this situation for what it is and kind of surrendering control. Or perhaps that's your beloved finally surrendering to the journey of healing and of spiritual love. <laughs> Wally's, Wally's here. He's got the zoomies. Oh my goodness, look at the whale. Isn't that beautiful? Whale song. Resonating. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> the power of community. We have a compass. One, two, 
one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Much better. I hope you guys are having a nice weekend. <clears throat> We have Stranger Curiosity, interesting. And Completion, Closing Door, isn't that interesting? I kind of don't want to say too much. Um, interesting, Stranger, Curiosity. I'm seeing the Page of Swords, someone who's curious about you. And we see this Closing Door Completion and I've been picking up on the energy of a spiritual lesson being learned. And that's what I see here. I see five Hierophant energy, a spiritual lesson being learned, that door being closed. Surrender, you surrendering to this, that's what we were talking about, surrender. Um, and it could be possible that, I don't want to say too much, but for some of you, you could have someone new coming in. Interesting. Or the other thing I'm hearing is that if you have a connection with someone and you've evolved spiritually, you could appear like a stranger to them at this point is what I was hearing. And I am seeing, you know, I can't help but think of counterparts with this flame energy. So we're going to get, we're just going to have a look. We're going to it's meant to be past, present, future, but we'll just see how it goes. So past energy. It also really depends when you find this reading because I do past, present, future, and you may find it while you're in this energy, the future energy, you may find this reading. And then this sounds like it was a long time ago. For some of you, you may presently be in the past energy, if that makes sense. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <clears throat> That's magic. Um, so we have the perfect storm, the, stir the courage to step into life. So you could have had the courage to step onto your spiritual path here in the past. And possibly your person is getting ready to embody that energy themselves. Let's have a look at this card, my friends. 44 could be symbolic. 4 is the number of the emperor. So it could be the two of you both had to work on your own foundations, balance your masculine energy perhaps so that you can take action. Oh my gosh, it's on page 88. Oh, eight, 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 eight. <clears throat> All right, let's just have a look here. Let's have a look. 44, divine intervention. The angelic realm is around you presently. The angels want you to ask them for help and support with stronger intentions. Oh my gosh, this is on page 40. What is happening? 444888. I am ready for, sorry, lie in meditation and repeat this mantra. I am ready for divine intervention in my life. What is happening? Why am I looking in the 500s? That's not where I want to be. Four, four, four. And there's another four because it's on page 140. The number assures you that you are being heard. Your angels are guiding you, surrounding you, and answering your prayers of protection. It may be a time of struggle, but you are being led into the light by your guardians. Take a moment to thank your angels for their protective presence in your life. And keep in mind, we're talking about past energy. So for some of you, you may be in this energy right now, or you could resonate with this being past energy. <clears throat> something wants, somebody wants to say something. 88, state your intention. Infinite abundance is available to you and your angels are signaling for you to remember this. 
They want you to elevate your vibration as well as your expectations for what you can receive. Write down an intention you have for the future. State it out loud under the stars during the next new moon. So you may be someone who sets intentions on new moons. You can write down your intentions. Just make sure you write them in present tense. So instead of saying, you know, I wish for... I don't know what. <clears throat> I wish I had a car, you would say. That's a horrible example, but... Instead of saying, I wish I had a car, or I intend to get myself a car, you would write, I am so thankful for my car. <laughs> and then you sleep with it under your pillow. <laughs> We're all mad here. <laughs> Good job, 888. You are doing well, and your angels are proud of you. Take a look around and practice gratitude for how far you've come. Abundance in some form is coming to you now. Make space in your life to allow the universe to take things into its own hand. List the fears you have and release them. <laughs> so fears and releasing them would be done on the full moon. <laughs> so on the full moon, you would say, I release in any insecurity I have, or I release the need to control X, Y, Z. Anyway. <laughs> Now, let's get back to what we were doing. ADHD. <laughs> when the perfect storm appears, it cautions you to be ready for an exciting, if turbulent, time. The winds are picking up, and you need to make sure you are close to the eye of the storm, or you will be buffeted by gusts that may take you far from where you need to be. The key is to remain centered in balance and bear witness as the forces build in intensity. Notice how the loose stuff is starting to fly around and recognize how little of it you truly need. Let go of those thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes that clutter your heart and cloud your mind. Then the storm will be absolutely perfect for you. If you wonder what you might lose during the perfect storm, know that it is those things we are most attached to that are taken first, as if life were trying to unburden us of our righteous self-importance. Let it all go with the wind. The less you resist the change brought by the perfect storm, the happier you will be. Ride the winds to your next destination. Embrace the rain or snow. Remember that every time you try to argue with nature, you lose. The perfect storm can also be call, a call to seize the moment. There might be a great opportunity that you need to take advantage of right now. Carpe diem. Here, time is of the essence. It may be gone shortly, so do not hesitate. Go ahead, bite off more than you can chew, and take the storm on in all of its terrifying greatness. Experiencing the fullness of life, you will succeed. So the fact that it's on page 88 and 89 makes me think of, there's so much. Well, eight is the energy of strength, possibly shedding your pride, your ego, having the strength to move forward, having the strength to to go after what you want. I feel very called to these peacock feathers because peacock feathers, which are actually all over this crow or raven, I don't know which one it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, they do represent divinity. So I feel like you're really listening to your inner divine guidance, um, guidance from your higher self. I feel like in if, you know, we're talking past energy. So like I said, for some of you, you might be in this energy right now. But I feel like you've had some tower moments here, whether it be about work, whether it be about a connection. And what I was feeling was that I think your person is possibly in this energy right now. Like if this is something you experienced in the past, I feel like your person is in this energy right now. And they're now feeling called to listen to their inner guidance. I feel like some sort of cycle has been closed out here, and that's why there's this change coming. My child is running up and down the stairs with my dog giggling. <laughs> so if you hear that, <laughs> that's what's happening. <laughs> this is interesting because we have watchers, six. So to me, I get the energy of someone watching your transformation. 
um, someone watching you transform from this crow into a peacock. I know that doesn't make, you know, actual sense, but in my head it does. <laughs> I feel like this is someone who's watched you transform. Like that stranger card, I feel like when you hit that chrysalis stage in your journey where you, tr when you are, you go from being the caterpillar to the, the, when you're in the cocoon and everything from your sh lower self just sheds away and you're reborn this butterfly. I feel like this is someone who you have a lover's connection with who has seen you transform. And I feel like it really has push them to embody this emperor energy. We have dust devil moving out of stagnation. That's devil energy. And to me, the stagnation is about to break here. Something's about to change. <laughs> My kids. <laughs> so you're moving out of stagnation. For past energy, I feel like for some of you, maybe this connection became very stagnant because you were so healed, is what I'm hearing. And perhaps you had to, you know fly away from this connection for a while and leave it in the dust. You know, maybe you left this person in the dust and they had no choice but to watch you go. <laughs> so let's go current energy. Current energy. We have the Divine Matrix 24. This is interesting. So, current energy, the Divine Matrix, Galactic Mushroom, 24. So, the first, the first few things I'm hearing is we have six again, six lovers energy. Um, the Divine Matrix makes me think of Divine Counterparts. The fact that we have two and four, I feel like you or both of you are listening to your intuition Right now, you're in high priestess energy, listening to your intuition, letting your intuition guide you. <laughs> um, that's a Pocahontas reference, anyway. Um, I feel like right now, there's a lot of masculine energy, perhaps. Both of you working on your foundation and your structure, perhaps independently, is what I'm hearing. We do have overflow, overwhelm, and plenty. And for some of you, you could be feeling really overwhelmed right now with emotions as this comes towards you. I do feel like you and this person's energy is aligning with 43. Um, I just see emperor and empress energy equaling seven chariot energy. And sometimes the closer someone comes to us or the closer our wish fulfillment comes to us, the more underwater we feel, the more overwhelmed we feel, the harder that dust devil that card that we saw the harder that devil ego has to work to kind of push us off our path it's like our ego starts to panic because we're getting so close and we're almost ready to you know not need our lower selves anymore and that makes our ego panic um and try and grasp at straws and that's why you feel overwhelmed it's why you start questioning everything it's why you're full of fear Radical acceptance, high priestess energy. Thank you for the confirmation, spirit. <laughs> I do feel like I'm looking at two people who have accepted what this connection is and are surrendering to it. Um, interesting. So let's read this galactic mushroom. Lots of fours in your reading. Lots of sixes. It's on page 48. Interesting, because I just read 44, 444, 88, and 888. <laughs> and now this is on page 48. 48 also equals 12. And um, so for some of you, hanged man energy. So perhaps for some of you, you're not in communication with this person. This is a time of growth for both of you. Um, isn't that weird looking? Interesting. That looks like some kind of alien pod, doesn't it? In my opinion. Galactic Mushroom. You might have been thinking and acting like you were the only one in the dream creating your life. The Galactic Mushroom arrives as a playful yet potent reminder that you need to get with your higher power. 
The universal laws are not for your benefit only. The law of attraction does not exist just to serve up your desired outcome. The, matri the matrix of consciousness called source, God, spirit, or whatever you want to call it, is intricately woven into life. There is so much complexity that the human mind cannot comprehend all of the moving parts. It's impossible to see beyond what you already know. Just as the head of the mushroom is clearly visible above the soil, but not the living... What is that word? Bi biome? Below? I don't know. The thread-like... Oh, why? Why? There's so much... There's so many big words in this one. Thread-like... Mycelium? I don't know! Of fungi form vast, intricate networks underground, connecting different life forms with another in a kind of internet of the plant kingdom. Imagine the divine matrix, oh my gosh, serving the same way, connecting the individual consciousness with that of the divine. One thing that I talk about that this reminds me of is I talk about how it's almost like you're connected by roots and when you're transforming, they vibrate and it vibrates, you know, I see in the ground it vibrating over, anyway. I always say, guys, it's fun in my head. My parents used to tell me, you have such a wild imagination. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the galactic mushroom reminds you that your dreams and desires are heard. This is a call for faith and trust. Whatever intention you hold consistently with hope and faith, first, first, <laughs> first, manifest, <laughs> first manifests in the unseen realms. Whether or not you can see it working on your behalf, eventually you see the evidence play out in the serendipitous events that work in your favor, seemingly outside the law of cause and effect. My friends! <laughs> I almost called you children again. <laughs> it's so, I have four kids, so sometimes when I need all of their attention, I say, children! <laughs> not in a like, mean way. Um, anyway. My friends, this is what I mean. Um... It makes no logical sense to listen to our intuition, but I am telling you as someone who has been on this journey and many in my comment section will tell you the same, that when you, tr when you listen to your intuition, when you listen to your spirit guides or whatever you call it, you do see these serendipitous miracles happen in your life. Things happening in divine timing, abundance, doors opening, you know, it's your life transforming. So it's so important to believe. And that's what makes me so sad when people are in my comment section and they're not hopeful and they're down and, you know, they're feeling negative because that blocks the energy, that blocks the flow of abundance. And I'm telling you, <laughs> four years ago, I did not believe in any of this. <laughs> that's why I, I'm so passionate about talking about it because... If you work with the energy, you can open doors, you can change your life, you can heal, you can experience beautiful things, not just, you know, union, other things. Um, closer bonds with your children, for example, you know, I'm, that's one thing I'm very thankful for is since spiritually awakening, my connection with my children has absolutely changed. Um, not that it was bad before. But it's hard to explain. Anyway, <laughs> let's go current energy. No, we already did current. Thank you. We're going near future energy. Or future. Interesting. We have stars in the sky, limitless possibility, and we have empty well time to replenish. I am going to look at both of these cards because my guides are telling me it's this one, not this one. And I always listen to my gut. Okay, so this could, you know how I said, you know how I said current energy? That's what I'm feeling with this card. And I'm feeling future energy with this one. And 
That happens to me sometimes when I'm confused or I ask the wrong question and then I try and change the question after I've already thought about it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this as current. We do have a tower moment here. So like I said, I think hanged man energy. I think both of you are separated right now. Listen to this. It's on page 33. The empty well reveals that there is nothing for you here. The well is dry and the desert is encroaching on your once fertile garden. It is time to face the harsh reality and move on. Give gratitude and thanks to the abundance you have experienced and let spirit guide you to your next destination. This might mean saying goodbye to someone or something or insisting on changing the rules of the game. Stop diminishing yourself for the sake of another. Making yourself small will not produce the results you want. There is a lack of reciprocity and give and take. Okay, so here we go. Because right before I started your reading... I intuitively grabbed a deck and I chose the Antique Anatomy Tarot. And oh my goodness. I grabbed the Antique Anatomy Tarot and on the bottom of the deck, I was just looking at the other cards underneath. Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles gives me unbalance. It gives me you trying to fill somebody's well up, just like this card says. Um, someone is, you know... That's weird. I, I wanted to say siphoning your energy. I think I've been watching too much Walking Dead. <laughs> um, anyway, so I feel like this is a connection where there was not equal give and take. Um, making yourself small will not produce the results you want. There is lack of reciprocity in give and take. The empty well tells you that it's time to reclaim what is yours and return what does not belong to you. The shadows cast in your direction are not of your making. So this could be someone with that devil energy we saw. It's saying the shadows cast in your direction, the shadows being projected in your direction. So you could be someone who's giving, 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 or was giving, giving, giving to this person and running yourself empty. And what's amazing is right underneath, we have the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups, number 13, transform it. I'm hearing that you are transforming because you're learning not to overgive to this person. Um, you realize that your cup was running empty and your well was empty and it was time to replenish. That is what the Queen of Cups to me symbolizes a lot of the time, especially when it comes out with the Six of Pentacles. Because it shows you giving, 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 giving to someone and them not reciprocating or them projecting shadows onto you. Like I said with that stranger card, when you transform and evolve and go through a spiritual awakening and are reborn as the butterfly, the caterpillar no longer recognizes you. You look like a stranger. You feel like a stranger. And when you're enlightened and you're awakened... And you've been growing through the, with assistance from the divine, and you've been really giving into the journey, looking at your shadows. Once you're in that energy of light, high priestess energy, you can see through that veil. Um, you mm -hmm. can see through, if someone's projecting you, you can see it, or projecting onto you, you can see it. If someone is acting from a place of ego and hurt, it's like you can see it and you no longer judge them. You just feel bad for them. Um, anyway, I see it's really interesting because I'm seeing kind of. For some of you, there could be someone new coming in with a stranger card, but I just. What I'm seeing is you stepping into your power, stepping away from what no longer served you, putting yourself first, and now there's huge transformation happening. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't even finish reading it. When I saw that shadow, shadows cast in your direction, and I was like talking about projection, I didn't even read the next paragraph. It says... 
First of all, you do not need to react or respond to them as they are not real. Simply shine your light upon them and see how it dispels them. And that's what I mean. I feel like you're, go you're at a place or you're going to be at a place where you can see someone acting from a place of wounding and you no longer react to it because you know they're wrong. For example, I used it in an example yesterday in my pick a card. Um, you know, when someone makes a comment and tells me that I giggle too much and I don't know anything about tarot, I know that's not true. I know that I know a lot. So that's what I mean. You can see through that. Um, if someone's projecting onto you, you can see through that. Simply shine your light upon them and see how it dispels them. These shadows are projections that you are confusing for reality. You may have been offered to shovel. Oh my gosh. You may have been offered a shovel to help you dig yourself out of an uncomfortable situation, a bucket to drink from the well, but you cannot dig yourself out of this hole. And remember, there is no water to be found in that well. Receive the empty well as a gift. Do not exert your energy and waste your resources by repairing the walls or mending the rope. Follow the water course way. The aquifers, I don't know if that's right, that run deep in the earth and you will be led to a new spring oasis. You can find these underground streams, these rich natural resources in the subterranean depths of your own heart. And that's what I mean. It's like Queen of Cups energy. You're learning how to fill up your own cup and you're transforming and it's causing a change here. <clears throat> like I said, it could be someone new, but we'll see when the, when we get into the tarot. Maybe I'll ask both. Um, we have 51 here and 51 Hierophant energy and Magician energy together. Lover's energy. Um, when I see five and one, I think spiritual lesson learned and then magician energy, things starting to manifest into your life. Movement toward adventure, addiction to problems, allowing and trusting the current. Interesting. Nope, that's not even the right one. <laughs> Interesting. I don't believe in accidents. I don't believe in accidents. Because we were talking about that empty well and finding your water again, uh, replenishment. Um, and this, you know, it says, it's very interesting because this talks about an energy, this card that I didn't even pull, talks about an energy of being addicted to trying to solve a problem. Or to fix a relationship. So this could have been um, devil energy, you know, where you were codependent on this connection, not in the way that you think, in a way where you just wanted to fix it. The Queen of Cups is a people pleaser when she's in, oh, what is the word? There's this word that I always try and think of. Today I heard a reader say it. I wrote it down, but it's downstairs. Anyway, um, Queen of Cups in the reverse can be, you know, someone who tries to fix things that can't be fixed. Um, this could have been someone that you just tried to give, 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 and they just sucked your well dry um, because you can't fix anyone. Anyway, I just thought I'd mention that because I opened up to that. Limitless possibility, embracing opportunity. And it's on page 102 and 103, which is three and four. When you look up into the velvety dark blanket of the night sky covering the vast expanse of space, can you count all the stars twinkling above? Can you imagine that you were only glimpsing a teeny sliver of what is actually there? This is the domain of limitless possibility, of the never-ending sea of potential. Magician energy, limitless possibilities, unlimited potential. No, unlimited possibilities. <laughs> unlimited potential. The never-ending sea of potential that you yourself are made of and now have at your disposable. Disposal. <laughs> Your life right now is alive with possibility and needs your clear focus to home in on what 
avenue of exploration most calls to you. This is future energy. It's time to choose and not be distracted by the sheer magnitude of what may be. Be here now. Gather your thoughts and your most cherished dreams. Focus on the brightest star in your never-ending sky and take small steps, small movements, toward calling this glittering potential into reality. If you can imagine this and hold on to that vision, you will summon all of the celestial helpers and guides to aid you in bringing it into fruition. Keep your focus on the essence of potential rather than the form of it. The universe has its own ideas of how to best serve you and all of us at the same time. Trust this as a fact rather than a theory, and you ought not act surprised when your dreams come true, for they surely will exactly how you need them to. And that's what I was saying earlier about how I've seen it happen in my own life. It's, and I see you on the right path. One thing I did want to mention with the energy on the bottom of the deck here, let me just grab it. Is we had, I don't believe in accidents. We had the Queen of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. So you realizing that you can no longer hold something up. You know, you can't be the one to just give, give, give. And I see you focusing on yourself, filling up your own cup, and you're transforming. Right before I came here to do this reading, I was listening to a reading by another reader and she was talking about the Ten of Cups and about how I feel like this connection, this well that you're separating from, leaving behind, um, who I believe you want back or you're waiting for them to come back in, um, I do believe they give you emotional fulfillment in a sense. I feel like you have the idea that it's your emotional fulfillment, and when things are good, it feels good. But the one thing that this reader was talking about is about how the Ten of Cups, um, it's not like the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles grounds. The Ten of Pentacles grounds in the 3D, and it's stable, where this is, you know, it's emotional fulfillment, but it's like possibly you've realized there's no stability here um, in this fulfillment, this idea of union that you have with this person, possibly. Anyway, let's have a look, my friend. So I think we'll just keep on the same... We'll just go past... Yeah, we have four of pentacles, so lack of foundation, lack of effort put in. I feel like both of you are holding back right now, four, four... We have the Hermit. There's a lot of reflection going on, a lot of working on your own path. Interesting. That shows, though, that shows someone who's reflecting in a good way, Hermit energy. I do feel like the two of you are holding your energy back. Um, we have the Three of Wands, so perhaps there was lack of forward movement in this connection, especially when it came to reciprocity and making plans for the future, moving forward. Perhaps there was a power struggle with um, the 4-4. I just think of two emperors, like the clashing. We have the Queen of Swords. Isn't that interesting? Could have had to stand in your power and cut that rope off that bucket. <laughs> I deserve more Whoosh, or whatever noise and sound or whatever sound a sword makes. <laughs> okay, so we have the page of swords here. So learning about yourself. I do feel this person has watched you grow um, is what I'm getting. You could be dealing with a student with the page of swords. We do have the ten of pentacles. Interesting. You perhaps learning that there was no st stability here. There was no pentacles here. It wasn't, it was like you were planting pentacle, 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 and this person was, you know, not. 
I don't even know if they were watering the pentacle. We have eight of cups, so walking away from that well. I don't know if this is making sense. So we have the page of coins. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? <laughs> and the queen of swords. Someone was not giving enough to this. Someone was not throwing their coin in the well. Isn't that interesting? Like a wishing well. Um, page of coins, though, what I'm seeing is now I see growth. It's like that's what it takes, you know, for you to empower yourself. That's kind of what it takes to cause growth. I do feel like this person maybe wasn't giving enough, um, didn't want to stabilize this connection. There was definitely lack of energy here. There's a lot of pentacles in this reading, so I feel like this connection wanted to ground, but I don't think this person or you possibly were very grounded. Um, anyway, we see the high priestess, so like we were talking about the need to trust your intuition. You know, it's hard when your intuition is telling you, I deserve better, and my soul is telling me I deserve better now, even though your heart loves that person, you know? All right, so let's see past energy here. Past energy. I'm staring at that empty well. I'm staring at that empty well. So we have the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Wands shows someone who is very inconsistent, hot and cold, at times doesn't give to a connection, runs from a connection. We also have the Ace of Cups kind of flipping out, and that shows me that this person wasn't... To me, it shows they had feelings, but again, they didn't have the pentacles to back it up. There's a lot of fire here. Um... And I do feel like you tried to give or chase this person. Um, and you ended up, you know, wearing yourself out. We have the seven of wands. So this is someone who, you know, possibly was very defensive and deflected and projected. The lovers. Yeah. So you could have really, you and this person could have triggered each other's wounds here. And with the lovers, someone had to make a choice, I think. Someone possibly, you know, realized this wasn't going anywhere. Um, I feel like you wanted Ten of Pentacles with them. But we have a fear of commitment here. And I feel like possibly with the equal give and take, the reciprocity, the empty well, perhaps when you told this person, my well is empty, they were very defensive with the Seven of Wands. Let's get another one for past energy. I'm going to get a couple of cards for past energy. Um, just because it is a general reading. Um, so we have the tower here. So something, you know, it feels like this was a very difficult connection. And there was a tower moment where it all came crumbling down. Um, I have to tell you, I get right away. I feel like this was not an easy connection. Um, I'm being called to years ago when I watched Survivor. There's a puzzle where there's skulls and they have to put it together. Um, and it just looks impossible. Like, how do you do that? Um, so it could have been a connection where there were a lot of tower moments or perhaps when you approached this person about their inconsistency, they became defensive and projected onto you and blamed you. And like that card said... about the projection. <clears throat> we have the Queen of Wands here. So for some of you, there could have been, no, well, for some of you, there could have been a third party. But what I'm seeing is this person not energetically aligned with you. You're coming in Queen of Wands. So you're coming in very powerful, very confident, very creative. You could have grown from this connection. We do have the Four of Wands. Perhaps some of you, this person had has a karmic or had a karmic that they were in union with in the past or right now. Take it as it resonates. Only take it as it resonates. I do see some self-sabotage here. So this person operating from a place of shadow and ego and wounding. 
and sabotaging the connection subconsciously, not on purpose, maybe on purpose for some people, but I don't think so. I experience Five of Swords energy all the time. And I, it's almost like you're a wounded animal trying to protect yourself. And interesting. All right, let's go current energy. We have the moon and we have death. What did I say about the queen of the queen of cups with the 13 transformational energy? We have death and the moon. So current energy, you know, there's an ending here so that there can be a transformation. And we have the moon. So facing your fears, because it is scary to put yourself first and to choose yourself and to, I think when we choose ourselves, we think, I better make sure this is still recording. I think when we choose ourselves, we automatically think we're making the wrong decision or we've made a mistake and we get that fear, like, have I turned my back on something that I could have fixed? But you can't fix it yourself, you know? Um, I do see hidden forces at work with the moon, with the moon energy right here. And perhaps you are really tapping into your intuition. I was talking about how today's February 18th, 218, and about how moon energy, intuition, and with this card, I just feel like you're about to experience, or you already are, the feeling of a very thin veil, and I... I hope some of you understand what I mean by that and know what I'm talking about. But it's like you can see shadow and light in people. You can just see it. And you don't judge them for it, you know? I used to be I used to be such a judgmental person because I had such low self-esteem. And that was really it. I I was in a very low vibrational place, so I judged everybody around me. Um Anyway, it's an interesting, I hope some of you understand what I'm talking about, um, where you can see light and shadow and you can see, oh, that's that person, not me. Um, anyway, we're going to go, I kind of want to get, I wanted to talk about this. We do have nine of wands and nine of wands does talk about persevering with hope and determination. It talks about um self-improvement as well so perhaps it is an independent energy you know nine so perhaps right now the both of you are working on improving yourself or you're working on improving yourself let's see future energy we have the hierophant isn't that interesting spiritual lesson being learned and we have an offer of love. We see someone wanting to fight for this. I'm going to get another card. Seven of Wands. Like I said, I feel in the past this was someone who was very defensive. But in the near future, we see... I'm seeing a few things. For some of you, I feel like this person is coming back in to fight for this. Lover's Energy, Ten of Pentacles. For others of you, I'm seeing that perhaps you have your guard up against this person. Again, it's a general reading. I feel near future energy. You could be going through a spiritual lesson and you have your guard up against this person and you are making the choice to focus on yourself rather than, you know, get lost in that until you learn your lesson, until you have a light to find your way out of that forest. I think this is very interesting how this looks like a very dark, entangled forest. It kind of makes me think of, you know, how counterpart relation, like that energy is, that journey is. Um, let's get another one for near future. You want to come out, Ace of Cups. Someone coming out of isolation. Because the Five of Pentacles in reverse wanted to come out. So we do have the Ace of Cups, so someone making an offer. Um, for some of you, this is you working on your self-love, but I do see someone making an offer here. Um, an emotional awakening, a renewal, someone who's realized there's no one like you. We have the heart, which we just saw in the lover's card, so an offer of love. Interesting. This person could be... 
What I'm hearing is this person, you may not want to hear from this person, Four of Cups. You may, you know, feel like this person has nothing to offer you, but they're coming in King of Pentacles here. So you know how when I was talking about when you cut that rope to the well, Page of Pentacles instantly, instant growth on their side in the ground, that vibration that we were talking about with the Divine Matrix. Um, so what I'm seeing is you may not be interested in this person, but they are coming in, uh, King of Pentacles energy. Let's see how you're feeling about this person. You could feel something coming. Um, for some of you, if you did focus on yourself, you could be wondering if you made a mistake or if you acted too impulsively. And I want to tell you, you didn't, you did the right thing. You could be feeling the urge. For some of you, you may feel the need to chase this person. Um, for how you feel about this person, this person could have been very intense when they were triggered. I was talking about that Five of Swords energy. The Knight of Swords is similar. You know, when they're feeling wounded, they will, their claws will be out. And I tell you guys, Knight of Swords, I'm, that's what I'm constantly working on. Um, Anyway, Six of Cups here shows you think about this person a lot and you long for them. You see them as your soulmate. Oh my gosh, we have the Empress. So yeah, you feel divine feminine energy much. So I do feel like perhaps you worry that you acted impulsively. You didn't. I know how much you love this person. I can see it. I do feel like maybe you think you deserved more though because now you know, perhaps you're realizing your worth and that you did deserve more reciprocity. To me, it feels, you may feel energy coming towards you with the Knight of Swords. Let's see how they're feeling about you. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We have the Five of Cups and the, um, the World. The world shows that they feel very disconnected from you. You could be at a distance. You could have met online. Um, this is someone who hasn't gotten over you. This is someone who feels a lot of sadness and regret over this connection. This is someone who's having... I don't particularly like it, but this card talks about someone who's feeling sorry for themselves. You know, this is someone who's missing you, licking their wounds, wounded animal. Um... You know, chained up animal attacks you when you get too close. And then once you go away, there's regret because it's like, oh, wait, that person was trying to help me. And now I've scratched myself all up and now I got to lick my wounds and they're not coming back. Um, we do have the King of Cups. So interesting. I feel like this person feels... Right away, I'm seeing 14, and I'm thinking of temperance energy, the fact that we had the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups now, intuitive connection, this person feels a lot of love for you, and I feel like this is someone who's realized they that you deserve more love. Um, the good thing about Five of Cups energy is it's the type of sadness that once you kind of work through it, it turns into healing. It makes you have realizations. It makes you look at past wounds, Six of Cups energy, where you can heal that. We have justice. So yeah, they definitely owe you more. They definitely owe you more energy here. They owe you justice. They owe you balance. Um, this could have been someone who had to get their head and heart in alignment. You know, maybe their ego was out of control. Interesting. I'm going to take that King of Cups. Um, let's see. What do we want? What do we need to know about this connection? We have the devil. So, like I said, um, it's funny because when I was talking about the wounded animal, I was seeing the devil card from my panda deck because the devil is a wounded animal who's, you know, in my opinion... Who looks like they've been chained up for many many years um let me find it there's nothing short about my reading sorry not sorry <laughs> yeah there it is that's what i was seeing the whole time i was talking about 
the animal attacking and then licking its wounds. So this person is looking at their shadows right now and I think this is how they're feeling. Um, I actually feel called to keep this card out. I feel like channeling from this card. So like I said, this is someone who's looking at their shadows right now. And I do feel like this is someone you had to detach from, who you had to leave behind. Um, I do feel like it kind of pushed this person into their shadows, needing to look at themselves. Uh, this is someone who's obsessing over you right now. So if you're feeling that pull on them, that's why. Um, if you're feeling like everything's like you're drowning like that card, that's why it's because this person is going through it. Um, I do believe that you were focused on fixing something that you couldn't fix by yourself. You didn't have the tools to fix it by yourself. You only had the tools to fix what you brought with you, you know? Um, you didn't have the instructions for the other person's part in building. And this person has to do that themselves. And I feel like it was hard for, for you to detach from that. Let's see what is blocking this connection currently. We have the Queen of Swords. So you had to put up your boundaries. Um, this person could think you're being very cold right now. Um, and that's not your fault. Um, but I do see that you had to stand in your truth here. You had to, like I said, Queen of Swords, cut that rope off that well. There could also be clashing perspectives before, oh, I already moved on. Oh, no, here it is. There could also be clashing perspectives, clashing points of view with the Page of Swords. Um, this also shows, you know, needing to learn about yourself, you know, not just you, them. I think that you do learn about yourself. I do think you look at your shadows and you do the healing work. Um, but this is someone who perhaps wasn't able to learn about themselves in the way they needed to. They could have been distorted. That's the word. Distorted Queen of Cups energy. Yes. Distorted masculine energy. It just hit me. <laughs> So what's blocking this? Your person could have been in distorted masculine energy. And you may have been too. And I do feel like maybe it took you a while to find your power and to know your worth, but you did. Um, this also shows perhaps lack of self-esteem as a blockage um, either side. Let's see advice for this connection. We have the Page of Cups and the Fool. So very interesting because in the beginning I was getting, for some of you who don't want this person back, there is someone else coming in for you. And this shows that it could be a crush, someone taking a leap of faith towards you. Um, that's not for everyone. Um, for those of you who are wanting reconciliation with this person, I do see, if you have patience, I do see this person following their intuition, apologizing, and taking a leap of faith towards you. I feel like this person was too emotionally immature in the past for this to actually grow into anything, um, is what I'm seeing. Let's see advice for new love. Advice for new love. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups. So to me, you've broken a cycle here, world. And I am seeing for new love, you're vibrating at an energy where you are attracting in someone, perhaps a secret admirer, uh, perhaps online, perhaps they're at a, at a distance. Knight of Cups? Mm -hmm. What could happen is, you know, new love, this could be someone younger than you. Um, but like I said, sometimes when someone new comes in, that's when your past person pokes their head back in. Um, but anyway, to me, it looks like this for new. If you're hoping for new, this is someone that can match your energy. Again, you could meet them online. This is someone who will give you the energy you deserve because you have ascended. You now know your worth. You know what you deserve. And therefore, you're vibrating at a frequency where whoever comes towards you should be able to match that energy. Let's see... Um, advice about reconciliation with the past person. Advice 
about reconciliation. Don't give up hope. Page of Wands. Someone's having a spiritual awakening here. Someone's reflecting here. Nine of Wands and the Empress wanted to come out. And to me, that showed a message of the message on the Nine of Wands in my little book there says, persevere with hope and determination, you know? And then we had the Empress, so being patient. Here we have the Page of Wands and the Hermit. So to me, yeah, this is someone who is feeling inspired to apologize to you here. This is someone who's been reflecting and wants to make amends with you here. Interesting. Walk back in after they walked out, perhaps. I want to get another one for this one. Last person. Yeah, this is someone who's coming in slowly, Knight of Cups, but this is so someone who's coming in the right way. Um, this is someone who's determined to make this work. Um, we have the Two of Cups, so they're coming in very slowly, but they're coming in in a very stable way. You know, you had to cut that cord or is it's that's interesting that I said that. Interesting. You had to cut that rope in order for them to fill up their own well and work on themselves and grow. Ace of Swords, communication, truth, clarity. Oh, two of cups. Beautiful. <laughs> anyway. Interesting. So. There you go. <laughs> what else do we want to get? Let's get, I want to get one of these. Let's see, what do you need to hear about this connection? We have change, 12, amazing, hanged man energy. We talked about it. We see this dragonfly. This is, if you're hoping for, I don't know what you're hoping for. But what you have coming, you can't even fathom how amazing it's going to be from your experience right now. Um, on the bottom, we have Flow 24, and that does talk about 24. Look at that, mushrooms. This talks about following your inner guidance, you know, letting things flow. Um, and then on the other side, we actually have another card flipped over, 18. It's the 18th today, I'm telling you. And we have patience. So this is, if you're hoping for reconciliation, this person needs your patience. Um, and for you, you know, keep following that path that you're on because it's working. Where is that book? Here it is. 12. Change. This card is letting you know that it's all right to change directions. It's okay to change your mind. You do not need to be consistent at every turn. This is the time to put traditions and expectations of others aside. Instead, you are called to create your own traditions. You are free to express yourself and let your spirit fly. Dragonflies are acro acrobats of the sky. Not only can they fly backwards, they fly upside down and turn 365 degrees. And while looking as great and while looking as graceful as they do it. Oh my gosh. Dragonfly spirit urges you to take on her same fearless daring. Go beyond predictable behavior. Just because something has always been done in a certain way doesn't need that it needs doesn't mean that it needs to continue to be done that way. While you can't control the exact circumstances of your life, you can control what meaning you give to them. Select meanings that empower you, for this is the time to be carefree, wild, and unpredictable. Be willing to change your perspective and good fortune will follow. Sometimes you just need to back up to go forward. As people get older, they find it harder to change. So to activate youthfulness, be willing to make changes without hesitation. Beautiful. And I am going to look at the patience one. Have patience, wait until the fog lifts. The truth will emerge in time. Follow your intuition. And it talks about waiting for the truth to emerge. And then the 24 one. Everything falls into place when you don't resist the flow of the meandering pathway of life. Allow the path to take you where you need to go. Don't hurry or resist it. 
simply let go, surrender, and enjoy the journey. So this could feel like a meandering path with this person. But Spirit's saying there's a reason for every... There's a reason for it. Just follow that path that Spirit's telling you to. We also have death and rebirth here. So very interesting energy, you guys. So let's get... I just want to get you a few of these cards. Affirmations. Affirmations work, okay? They work. <laughs> I am at peace with my past. This is really interesting. Because this is the energy of surrendering to divine timing. And we have, I open my heart to love, which Queen of Cups energy, that's what I mean. You could have someone new coming in to kind of be part of your journey here. Interesting. Or, you know, it could be that your heart opens to this past person, however it resonates for you. I am a vibrational match to all that I desire. And we were talking about this, you guys, about how your, your elevation is rising. You're vibrating at a higher level. Therefore, those things that match your energy, Queen of Cups, will come in. I am safe in the universe. All life loves and supports me. And let's get... On the bottom of the deck, we have make space for it. Interesting. It's all for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's all for a reason. Nourish. So Empress energy. Nourish yourself. Take care of yourself. Nurture your... Interesting. Staying alive. Oh my goodness. That could be... That could be symbolic of this connection not dying. Um, it's, you know, especially if you're looking for reconciliation. We also have it's not a competition. So don't compare yourself to other flowers. You're your own unique flower. Um, interesting. I was talking about how I used to look at people very judgmentally. Um, because I was vibrating from such a low place. So perhaps, you know, perhaps sometimes you look at other people as competition, to, like as maybe you compare yourself to others is what I mean. Um, it could also be that you and this person are growing at different rates and spirits saying it's not a competition of who gets there first. Um, interesting. I want to get one more. Inhale, exhale, breathe, just breathe. It'll be okay. And one more just to make it all even. If two come out, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Seeing things for what they are. So like that well card said, you know, if someone's not reciprocating, you can't fix someone who doesn't want to be fixed. You can't heal someone who doesn't want to heal. You can't lead a horse to water and force it to drink. And I feel like you are someone who's, who saw things for what they were and had to focus on yourself. But anyway, my friends, that is your reading. I hope it resonated and I hope it brought you some comfort today. I am going to go do a face one now for all of you who like the face ones. <laughs> anyway, thank you for spending your time with me today. I hope it resonated. Thank you again to Xander for the beautiful deck. I very much appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Give yourself a hug. It's important. And listen to your intuition today, I think, especially. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you. <laughs> Bye.